important to Chinese electric car makers. Brussels suspects state help from Beijing is giving them an unfair advantage in the market. The European Commission received a letter from Solar Power Europe, an association of solar industry players, on September 11th. The letter warned that the prices of solar modules had dropped by more than 25% since the beginning of the year due to huge inventories and the aggressive market expansion strategies of Chinese manufacturers in the EU. The West, which has a stake in some of China's major projects in the region, has reacted strongly to China's predatory lending and unfair trade practices. This showed a huge impact when the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative BRI, was reportedly suggested to be abandoned by Giorgia Maloney, the Prime Minister of Italy. Mandred Weber, the president of the European People's Party EPP, supported the investigation announced by von der Leyen and said, we don't want a Chinese one, we want a European Green Deal. Our ambitious climate approach should not benefit Chinese electric vehicles. The European Union's probe into electric vehicle subsidies provoked a strong reaction from China, which said the move would damage ties and also criticized foreign car makers for lagging in technological innovations. A leading Communist Party newspaper and China's top auto industry body joined the chorus of condemnation, indicating that a new trade conflict may be starting. Chinese EV makers would lose one of their major growth markets if the EU levies duties. Their European sales are much lower than market leaders like Volkswagen AG, Tesla Inc., and Stellantis NV, but they are increasing rapidly. The top Chinese presence is Zhejiang Geely Holding Group Co., with brands such as Polestar, Volvo Cars, and Lotus and others like BYD Co. And Neo Inc. are also expanding into the continent. Chinese EV makers have been selling more electric cars in Europe in the past few years. They have increased their market share from 3.9% in 2021 to 8.2% in the first seven months of 2023. This means that out of every 100 electric cars sold in Europe, about eight are made by Chinese companies. The UK is the biggest market in Europe for Chinese EV brands. Almost one out of every three electric cars sold by Chinese companies in Europe is sold in the UK. The most popular Chinese EV brand in Europe is Zhejiang Geely Holding Group Co. It has different brands, such as Polestar, Volvo Cars, and Lotus. Some European car makers are worried about the growing competition from Chinese EV makers. They think that Chinese EV makers may have an unfair advantage because they get subsidies from their government. They also think that Chinese EV makers may not follow the same environmental standards as European car makers. They want the European Union to investigate and regulate Chinese EV makers. The European Union is a group of countries that work together on different issues such as trade, security, and climate change. The European Union has a plan called the European Green Deal. The plan aims to make Europe carbon neutral by 2050. Carbon neutral means that Europe will not produce more greenhouse gases than it can remove from the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases are gases that trap heat and cause global warming. Chinese EV manufacturers are making more electric vehicles than European car makers. They are also selling them at lower prices. They can do this because they have more money and support from their government. They also have more technology and innovation. European car makers are worried that they will lose customers and money to Chinese EV manufacturers. They want to make better and cheaper electric vehicles. They also want to protect their market and industry. They are asking the European Union to help them. As Chinese car manufacturers have a great hold in the EV sector all around the world, other companies have to be worried because now the Chinese manufacturers are providing good quality products and services. It will probably decrease the sales of other non-Chinese brands. What do you think? Comment your thoughts and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.